Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. That's disgusting. We know where she is. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. We're headed there, okay. They're in the car. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you. Uh, I don't need you. Forgiveness because I've been saved by Jesus, so you. From cheater surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Hang me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go, go. Get right. up, camera. Get up. Get up. Get up. Whoa, whoa. This is like not how this is supposed Where? to work. Just go. Go with him. <laughs> I love you. I'm so sorry. Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another episode of Cheaters. Please meet John Chapin, a young man whose romance with an older woman has grown increasingly sour. Realizing his relationship has changed, John brings his burden to Cheaters with hopes of a resolution. John Chapin age 21, a college student afraid that his older girlfriend may be teaching him a lesson in infidelity. Marcy and I met, she was a substitute teacher at my high school. It was my senior year. Uh, by coincidence, I met her in a public place. She struck up a conversation. We kind of hit it off. Really didn't expect it to turn in to what it has turned into, but it's been, it's been pretty good. I bought a small, very small, starter house about six months ago. And Marcy later on, well, kind of weak, we came to the decision. It was a mutual thing. She decided to move in, to sort of uh, take our relationship to the next level and see what happens, you know. And everything was fine when she first moved in, but here lately she's just been acting out of control. It's really hard to describe, very childish. She's been drinking a lot. She hangs out with a lot of new friends and the communications kind of went downhill. She keeps her cell phone in her car now locked up at night instead of bringing it in the house. Sometimes she'll power it off when we're together. And she has been working a lot of late hours at the country club. Says she has to work overtime a lot, two or three times a week sometimes. And she'll call, say I'll be home in 20 minutes, ask her to bring me some food. She won't show up for two hours and there's alcohol in her breath. My life, after I find out, is totally dependent on whether or not she's cheating or not, to what the outcome is. I don't know how I'll handle it, but I know it's something that I have to face, whether it be good or bad, because the stress it's really been causing is physically and mentally just eating at me. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Marcy McRae, age 28. A waitress who may be getting romantic tips from another man. Investigation day one. Cheaters investigators begin following suspect Marcy McRae as she leaves her waitressing job at a local athletic club. Heading out into the rain-soaked night, detectives follow McRae to a local restaurant where she meets up with an unknown male companion. Side by side, they take shelter in the restaurant. Through the painted glass, they share a moment's respite from the day. Sometime later, they exit the establishment and head back to McRae's vehicle to do some embracing. The two kiss while holding each other tightly after their secret rendezvous. It looks like these two relish the comfort of each other's company. Meanwhile, in a phone conversation recorded earlier, Cheater's client, John, is left out of the festivities. Hello? Marcy. How are you doing? Uh, hello, I'm getting ready to go over to my mom. Take on your mom, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go by there. I gotta pick up a few things. 
Investigation day six. Cheaters detectives catch up with a deceptive couple at a local parking lot. Marcy's unknown companion has now been identified as co-worker Dirk Williams. Mr. Williams wastes no time in getting out of his parked automobile and slipping comfortably into Marcy's waiting car. The two share a long, passionate kiss, feeling that they are safe from the world in each other's arms. Cheaters investigators watch as a satisfied Mr. Williams leaves the suspect's vehicle and drives away into the night. Investigation day 10. Cheaters investigators have caught on to Ms. McRae's deceptive pattern. As she leaves work, detectives follow her to a local car wash where she proudly struts to her lover's car for what is clearly more than a wash. The two guiltlessly smooch each other, leaning far back in their seats. After Ms. McRae and Mr. Williams are sure they've done a thorough job, the suspect's friend discards physical evidence of a romantic encounter outside the vehicle. Cheaters unmistakably concludes that the suspect McRae and companion Williams are involved in an intimate relationship. They move to relay this information to complainant Chapin. Coming up, the confrontation. Now fully aware of Marcy's licentious behavior, Cheater sits down with John to prepare him for the distressing news. John patiently reviews the unpalatable facts of the case before making any further decisions. John, I want to thank you for coming out and meeting us tonight. Mm -hmm. I know this is a sensitive situation. Can you tell me if the relationship's changed at all? It's actually went downhill a little bit. It was a great physical relationship now. It's next to nothing. I just want to know what's going on. John, one of the reasons that we wanted you to come out this evening, mm -hmm. our detectives have been on the case, and they have some information that they wanted you to know. Are you ready to have a look at this? Yeah. Okay. On this day in the investigation, the detectives picked up your girlfriend, leaving her place of work. Before the detective could even pull out, there was another car behind her, and the detective actually was following both cars to the same place. As you see her get out, she's joined by a man, and they go on into the restaurant, and they have dinner together. And there's a hug and a kiss when they go to get in their cars to leave. You know, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. On this day of the investigation, we see the same scenario, and they wind up just at an area parking lot, and they just spend time in the parking lot making out just like she's still back in high school. Is I've been this... being lied to for God knows how long. Now on this day, John, we see the same pattern. Your girlfriend meets this man at a car wash, gets in the car with him at the car wash in the stall. Oh. And out of whatever they've done in there, there's obviously some residue that needs to be discarded. That's disgusting. I, that is disgusting. I don't want to see any more of that. Well, we know where she is, and we know what she's getting ready to do. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, I'll get you, we'll get you in on this side. Yeah, it's Joey, go. They're in the car? Okay, we're moving now. Okay, watch out, we've got cop cars right there. We're headed there, okay, we got an eyeball. They're in the car. All right, we're here. All right, let me come and get you. Come on, John. What is it? Marcy? Uh, yeah? Could you explain to John what you're doing in, in a parking lot? Explain to John what you're doing yeah, in a parking easily. lot. Yeah, easily, you dude. What it's is that? Bad. How old are you, 50? OK, you for talking to him like that. Are you out of your for, you. What are you thinking? Why would you even do this? Uh, you, man. So you just don't give a about what? me? What? I don't need this me. I don't need this you don't even, no, you get, you're right, I don't. No, he's, they're this. living together? Okay, if you were they're handling your together. business yeah, hey, like you need a man, what be okay, going on? Let the car oh, work. You no, wished I was, does that mean I'd still oh, be giving it to you? you? Get a room. Oh, really? Get a room. Oh, no problem, I'll just snap right. 
there and get one. So you're sleeping with her, you're hanging up in a parking lot with her making out? I feel Thank you very much. That's cool, whatever. Forgiveness because I've been saved by Jesus, so you. That's great, that's great. Marcy. You feel like a man right now? Yeah, I feel like a man. At least he's standing up for himself. Okay, you could not do. My face, oh really? So, yeah. You know what's really? gonna be in your really? face? Really? Oh, because all okay. you have to do. You know, oh, look at you! Dude, this is look. between us three. Why are you even in it? You know, I'm here because it's she not could not tell three, him the truth. Between, I'm out of this. Yeah. Why yeah. are hey, you in a parking hey, lot making that? Is your emotion? Can you know? Is your emotional state the arrested? The Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. What can I hope that to say? You know, you can make this whatever you want, Marcy. All you had to do is tell him that you didn't want to see him anymore. That's it. I knew I should have never f***ed with you, ever. In high school. Ever, in high school. You're right, you're Look, right. You're That's my bad, one. but you know and what? You're just not realizing that Marcy. Three years? Marcy, you're the mature this one. This is about people. I want all these cameras out of my face. Coming up, the conclusion. You're Look, right. you're That's the mature bad, one. You know and what? this is just not realizing that Marcy. Three years? Marcy, you're the mature this one. This is about people. I want all these cameras out of my face. Baby. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you do. Because I'd be embarrassed too if I were you. Was it good? Oh, it was good. Was good. Yeah, it was good. You man. Where are you going? Where the f are you just gonna walk? Are you, you just gonna walk what? away I from everything? Had it with all of it. Had it with all the shit. It's kind of funny, man. You know what I'm saying? You should. Say, I'm just here. You're just as much a part of this. She's he playing is. you, and she's playing him. Hey, that's fine. Right, as long as you're getting some, get in where you fit in. That's all your policy is. No, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna slap you. You got you on nothing that. to say? No, I don't have to say to you. No explanation. And I don't care if you kick my out. It does not bother me in the least. Consider yourself I don't gone. Need you. you can go f whoever you want to anymore. No, don't worry, I have been. I'm sure you have. Oh, that, that's, that's nice. Have been. That's very nice. That's mature. Is that nice? Class. Lord. You're a classy woman. Aren't I, though? You know that? Aren't you happy that you've met me? You've touched me in a deep <clears throat> and an emotional way. Don't even oh, touch what? me. You wanna... Don't Come even up. touch me. Come on. What am I no. going to hit a woman? You yeah. don't even have anything is that, to say. Is that no, what you I teach the kids? No, I don't, because you know what? I don't need you. I don't. <clears throat> you look like a really bright guy, by the way. Yeah, I'm bright enough to know. What do you know? That what you're putting down is wrong, and it's mm -hmm. simple. Mm-hmm. You don't have to lie. Why do you have to lie? All you have to do is tell someone the truth. You're being irresponsible with your life and his life and his life. But you don't care because you know what? You're above that. You're right. You're too cool for that. You That's just great. Right. You know. You shut up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marcy, what is it that you're getting from him that you're not getting with I him? I get the emotional support and the respect. Emotional and the love support. That I think that I deserve this one. So what? I don't give you. And how do you get that? Win, how do you win, get win. whatever, Marcy? You know, you just go. All I want to know is, how are you getting validated by making out in a parking lot, and you're a 28-year-old woman? Why don't you go home? Can you not answer go a question. home? Can you not answer mom a question? Home? You can't go uh, to no, home to your not own house. Exactly. And what one, about his house? Oh yeah. Do you want me to? him right in front of him? Is that what you're looking for? Would that have been a better story for you Hey, here? you're in public. Is that what you wanted to huh? You're in public. You won't even look at me. Do you sit down, me and you talk about this without all this happening right oh, no. here? Oh, no. Sitting down and talking no, about it. sit down and talk about this. No. You'd rather make out in your parking lot, have sex at a car wash, than go home? Then how long has how long has been going on with Tabo? <laughs> how long is a while? A while. So I've been sleeping with your nasty So I probably need, need to go. Clinic. Yeah, you better. My interest is in how their relationship is being affected. Fat. There's a lot about me, actually. Oh, that's necessary. It is necessary. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She could have mm -hmm. a relationship. Very you feel better? It makes me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Yeah. Why cannot she let him know what's going on and at least say, hey, you know what? I this is. I talk to her about that. I don't know about that. that? Uh, you're just because you're just gonna get yours. Would you rather see that's me a... burn in hell and die? Would that make you feel better? Actually, I, I really don't get. Good. Whatever happens, Good. I don't give it. Because you know what, the same goes for you, sweetheart. That's great. He's the only one, or is just anybody you see? You two together. You can't really? say no to. Is that like what it is? That's really pretty much what it is. Really, is it yeah, so that's good? Pretty much what okay. It is. Thank you. We're done. Get the out of my house, too. All right. Don't worry about them. Ooh. Oh, fat. Yell out. I want to get out of here. Right. 
After the heated confrontation, an unhappy ending befalls John. At the end of the show, Cheaters tells you how John holds up. But now, Cheaters speaks with Callan Kirkpatrick, a distraught young woman previously caught enjoying the pleasures of someone other than her committed lover. Wanting to rectify the damage she's caused, Callan reviews the events of her confrontation. Callan Kirkpatrick, age 22. Callan shares her remorse over the poor choices she's made. Whenever the crew first came up on me, we were hanging out by the van, having a good time. And then this huge van pulled up, and I see all these people. I swear to God, I thought it was a police. I thought I was busted for sure. I was somewhat relieved to find out that it was just cameramen. And then I saw ISIS, and my heart kind of sank. Follow me, follow me, fast. We've got about 100 yards, 50 feet. You see them right there, they're in the car. All right, go, go, go. Stay there, stay there. Go. I'm yeah, Joey Greco with What is this? You, do, what are you, what? you can't cheat on me with one person. You got what? Five? And my stepsister. I cheated on Isis because the feelings started going away. I just started thinking of her more as a friend. And I lost a lot of my respect for her for some reason. There's no reason. I just lost interest. I just wanted to be free. I just wanted to be wild. You what? You don't want to be with, with you don't want to be with me? You couldn't tell me that from the I'm sorry. Hey, no, you're no. all wrong. You no, baby, come on. Oh. Over, over, over. Get off me. That's stop. Yes. You couldn't tell me. Well, Kathy told me that her and Isis had, you know, they've always had problems. They've never really been close. I do feel I do feel bad for what I did. I do. I don't understand why I did it, why I chose Kathy out of all those people, but it felt right with her. I don't know. Things fell through after, every, after we got busted, and it didn't work out the way I thought it would. Oh. No, get, girl, oh, get, get, what, get, look, get away from me. You're still following me. No. I, I did want to hear it, but now, no, she's with my sister. You just know everything that I've been through. I'm sorry, okay? Oh. Yeah. Let him go, let him go. Yeah, go. Stay here. Have fun. Stay here. I hope you have Relax. fun each other, you Isis, Isis, stay here. I have made mistakes, and I've realized that the things that I were doing were wrong. And that I've been going in circles for the past couple of years. It's time to break that chain. And I'm just doing this to show Isis that I love her, and that I'm happy with her, and that she makes me happy. I want her to be able to trust me again. And I love her, and I'm truly sorry about everything that I ever did to her. After the confrontation, a disappointed John Chapin and a rather fiery and insolent Marcy McRae mutually decide to part ways. John's worst fears have now been realized about the woman he once looked to for mature companionship. John tells cheaters that he has no intention of reconciling with Marcy and is glad she's out of his life forever. John states that he is ready to move on and find a woman closer to his age and more capable of staying in a committed relationship. Marcy McRae, on the other hand, made it clear that her appearance on Cheaters was less than flattering. Although she once cared for John, she insists that it means nothing now and isn't as big a deal as he makes it out to be. Marcy now faces her future filled with the certainty that she'll still be able to get whatever she wants from any man and whenever she wants it. Dirk Williams, as far as Cheaters knows, has not gone to get himself checked out yet, but he says that his relationship with Marcy was only for fun and that in the future he'll be sticking with less outspoken women.